know, I'm going through some fucking shit today. I really am. So I'm watching a video about, it was a news, it was a news clip about Italy and they're transporting dead bodies out of the hospital and military vehicles are so overwhelmed. They had to close down the cemetery because it just filled up. And you know, this is the thing. That was, that's, and I wonder if other TIs are going through the same thing. Because we've experienced such intense isolation for so long. We have been completely isolated. I have never been an antisocial person. I've always had a pretty sizable group of friends most of my life. And being isolated like this for as long as targets are, I, my God, I've been isolated for so long now years now going on years it's been like fucking it's been over a year if I'm not mistaken when the fuck did he go in the garage we weren't sleeping in the same room or anything. We were fucking sleeping in separate rooms, but he was in the house. I can't fuck it. It's been like fucking, I'm thinking like a year at least. I don't fucking know. But even when he was here, it wasn't like he was fucking. We were hanging out and shit. It's just sleeping here. I have to think back now. I try not to um, dwell on it so I don't think about it. I don't have like this, you know, marked time when it started to happen, when I started to just be completely isolated without anyone around me ever. You know, it's kind of like the last time I had sex with my husband. It's It's been so long, I don't even care. And it wasn't even that big of a fucking deal for me to be like, oh, the last time that we made love was on the, this date. You know? Because it wasn't even like that. It was not like that. And I don't care. So it's not like it's a sentimental thing. But I wonder how many targets are sitting there going, you know what? We've been isolated and we've been sick. Majority of us are sick. And if, if TIs aren't sick, they're going to be because of the DEWs they use on us. So we're sick, we're alone, and we don't have enough of anything, you know, because they... They stop you from being able to have any sort of income. Any TI will tell you that. So we don't have enough of what we need. We're alone, we're sick, and we have been crying out to the public for a long time now. For years to do something about this and a lot of people know about it and a lot of people just don't say anything out of fear for their own safety out of fear that they will become isolated poverty impoverished and ill
we've been treated so poorly, treated like social pariahs and enemies in our own neighborhood. People have been so awful to me in this town. Just We'll just talk about that. I mean, everywhere you go, you're going to have perps and you get fucked with. But due to community-oriented policing and this being a, a smaller, smallish type of tight-knit, gossipy kind of community. And they're terrified of any outsiders coming in and, and you know, fucking up what they got here. You don't like people that are different. But it's not like I fucking stand out that much, you know? I'm fucking keep to myself and I'm polite to everyone. Unless you're not polite to me. But you have to not, you have to be an asshole to me. I'm not gonna fucking come off. I don't come off to anyone like that. I'm nice until I can't be nice anymore. Garbage thrown on my lawn, stuff stolen out of my yard, people going by my house and honking the horn and yelling things out the window. Like the N-word and various other things. Squad cars and ambulances going by, turning their sirens on and then shutting them off. So they turn them on till they clear my house, then they go off. This is noise campaigns, they call it. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't feel sorry for any one of you in this town that contracts the coronavirus and get extremely ill and becomes isolated. I don't feel sorry for any of the people that mentally aren't gonna be able to cope with isolation. I don't feel sorry for any of you either. And I don't apologize for that. I wish I could say that I felt some sort of empathy. Well, I do empathize, really. That's my life. It's been my life for too fucking long. Too long. Sympathize. I wish I could sympathize. I do. I really do. Maybe at some point I can. But at this point, I'm thinking you get exactly what the fuck you deserve. I feel completely cold. And I hope, and I hope to, nobody better fucking, even fucking attempt to complain to me about it. About any of what they're experiencing. Don't even fucking try it. Don't. I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear this fucking bitch sobbing in the grocery store because how is she going to diaper her child if they everyone keeps taking them all? Yeah, exactly. How am I supposed to do anything when everyone keeps fucking taking everything I have? Cry me a river. I don't give a fuck about you and your fucking diaper fucking issue, bitch. What the fuck you think I've been living with my fucking entire life? Every time I tried to do something, a roadblock was placed in my way. Every fucking time I struggled my entire fucking life. I don't give a fuck what you people go through with this now. You get what you fucking get. Because if you weren't doing it, you fucking, and you knew about it, you're just as fucking, almost just as bad as the people that are perpetrating. Because you turned to fucking, you turned your fucking head. You turned a blind eye to it. You didn't want to say anything because you were afraid it would fucking happen to you. And now it is. Now it is. 
And I told you to fucking, I told you, perps, confess, say what, to, you know, confess your crimes, say what you're doing, tell it. I told you to do that. I told you that was the only thing that was going to save you. And that was real funny. Oh, fucking, we're untouchable. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because this virus will kill billionaires and people that don't have fucking pot to piss in. It's going to wipe. It's going to be fucking indiscriminate. It is indiscriminate. Your money, your power, your status, your fucking military weapons. None of it will save you from this. None of it. You can't buy your way out of this and you can't fucking bomb your way out of it. Oh, we're gonna, we're racing to get a vaccine. Okay. Well, where's the cold vaccine? Because that's a virus too and no one has been able to cure that. Have they? No. Or... What else is a virus? Do, 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 do. AIDS is a virus. We still don't have a cure for that either. And you're fucking naive enough to think that you're just gonna fuck come up with a, a cure with, or a vaccine. Do we have an AIDS vaccine? Do we? Maybe we do. I don't know. Last time I checked, we didn't. Do we have a, a fucking common cold vaccine? I don't fucking, I'm telling you, I feel apathetic. I don't wanna fucking hear it. I don't wanna fucking hear it. You know, I spent my 50th birthday all alone And that's like a, f I really don't give a fuck about birthdays that much, to be honest with you. It's not like you gotta make a big deal about it with me, you know? Usually I just like to go to the museum and go to my favorite restaurant in the city, Chicago Diner. And I was real fucking happy with that. Or the planetarium. Um, but you know, I didn't think I'd make it to 50. I thought I'd be dead by now from the kidney failure that I had before. And 50, it's a, a landmark, hallmark birthday, right? And not one card, not one gift, not one bouquet of flowers. One person said happy birthday to me someone I was talking to online. No cake, no candles. Christmas too, I spent Christmas like that and it's just, it's not a good feeling. If I wasn't a targeted individual, I wouldn't be spending my 50th birthday alone. I wouldn't be spending Christmas alone. 